What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader 1v1 match between Robert B and Finde. Um, as always, we are on the Crusader Pill Off mod, and the link to that GitHub install and installation video guide will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into this 1v1 here. Um, as all of our last few 1v1s have been very quickly, this might be a little bit more even matched here. Both pretty low tier lords. Uh, fin or, uh, Robert B's got his knights going for him. Um, as well as um, some macemen here. Quick castle coming up for him. Probably one of my favorite castle designs in this whole mod. Uh, Finde, who's got the mass of slingers. It's going to be hard to break through. Interesting to see what the rating of the knights will do this game. Already two coming out for Robert B here um, into the enemies. House. Houses. Able to do quite a bit of damage here. Still alive. Rockman now going in for their close range attack. Do love to see that. Houses are good place. Now some macemen and spears coming in. Um, easily repelled though by Athende. More knights now coming in from Robert B. A lot of harasser coming out here. Going to destroy his stone. As well as slaughter those peasants. Already a troop bonus coming in for him. Is it plus or minus I believe it's minus one it does have some fear factor in there love house castle looks uh, more run down also something to note this is an old edition of this since we have started this tournament um, Crusader Pilla has patched his mod and made it even better we will not be updating though until after the tournament more rates coming in from Robert B if Finde, though, still able to get up and running, um, is having trouble controlling these knights. Um, Robert B, a little bit more in his element here. Stone going to be going down again. Has been able to upset this eco for as long as he can. Even more knights now coming in. He's going to have to keep pushing those. If Finde, looks like he did throw a first attack, but did go down. A lot of longbowmen up in those towers. Or European archers. I guess they're not technically longbowmen. Arabian swordsmen. Are doing quite well though. Did breach the wall with only three of them. A little bit of a weak point here in his castle, that's for sure. <laughs> Small walls there. Do see he is producing maces, yes. I think. I only see one. What's back there? It's a tanner. Two tanners. Ah, yes. Longbowmen, longbowmen, and there. So, producing ever so slowly some macemen um, as he continuously raids. Um, FNA sending out quite a bit of slingers to deal with those knights. Raids are starting to slow down or not do as much damage, um, but those knights are just so mobile. I mean, look at that. Just able to easily take out these farms, slaughter all of those slingers, and um, sit there and take arrow shots. One knight still at full, another one running in. How many stables does this man have? He has got three stables of the 12 knights total. I don't think I've ever actually seen him produce a total of 12 knights. That would be a powerful force indeed, especially against someone like Ifinde. Uh, really testing out the defense here and kind of the eco management of it. Ifinde has done well though managing. I just got them uh, basically just to the outsourcing. Uh, resources quite a bit of slingers now Arabian swordsmen uh, do come out finish off a knight really utilizing those slingers now some more macemen and an attack macemen most likely part of an attack uh, gonna have trouble winning this game with spearmen that is for sure uh, Finde though having trouble getting up um, proper attack here knights go into those slingers able to thin out them just a little bit but I don't do actually any real good damage here. I want to look if see if he has hunters. He does. I just had a sneaking suspicion this guy is going to be pulling in meat. He does indeed. He's got one. It looks like that is all. Afinde here. Now another attack here. Sending in quite a bit of slingers. Also pulling up some ballista. Counter attack here. Coming in by rubber B. Dogs come out. Dog's going to be pretty powerful defending the slingers. I think it might come down to Arabian swordsmen here. Need to do the job. That 
It's always going to be interesting to see if they actually can get it done. More dogs coming out. Did use up one dog trap there. As these lords are built up. Let's go ahead and speed up this game just a little bit here. Up to 500 speed. Finde looking strong enough here to produce extra siege to push. But Robert B not backing off here. That is for sure. Slinger is able to clear out his territory. Not as many raids as what Robert B was doing in the beginning. Maybe trying to stack them up. Make them a little bit bigger. Uh, four knights definitely going to be able to do a little bit better than what one or two could. Still able to hit these raids. Robert B throwing in another attack here. Definitely um, building up here. A lot more spearmen. Spearmen finally do make it to the walls. Die pretty quickly though. It's really going to come down to his macemen. But Efinde throwing out another attack here. Not messing around. It's a lot of siege built up. Slinger is able to push in here. Get to the walls. Something we haven't seen yet here. Now Arabian swordsmen are coming. Able to chew at the walls just a little bit. Um, Robert B. It's not shut down though. The back gatehouse remains open to bring in those resources. A well, very simple castle he's got going on here. Um, but no less effective. We do see all the rundown places that he's got going on here. Tons of just raiding going on. Oh, quite a bit of knights now coming out from Robert B. Straight to the walls is looking to push just a little bit. I see the siege in the tower from Efinde, making him just a little bit higher ranked here than I would think. Robert B, along with his eco, does seem just a little bit better here. Um, bread economy, producing ale with no ale houses. Um, so it will sell off that surplus there. Um, definitely is no problem getting Slingers up and running as there's gonna be a counter attack here. Slingers are gonna be going to those walls um, with a good amount of archers coming in. Knights continue to come out. Arabian swordsmen do walk in. Let's see what they can do this time around. Great counter attack here. And this could shut them down quite a bit. Sends out spearmen to clear out those ballistas. Arabian swordsmen still alive. Still looking well. Um, Robert B though not stopping his economy there at that back gatehouse. Is going to shut this down. Did lose quite a bit more than what I thought. Finde here most likely taking the lead. Yes indeed. Um, rubber B, not throwing an attack. That is quite a castle to attack here. Good amount of Arabian swordsmen in there. Really, just the raids. I think keeping them in this game, kind of a uh, pick and choose lord. Same design here with the walls as what Sultan has. Almost looks like a right up moat gatehouse or something along the ways very cool I don't exactly know how he does this ever but definitely a little bit of a, of a hack oh my goodness we almost just missed the end of the game oh, I was like why is he sending a message looks like the Arabian swordsman broke down this gatehouse went right for his king left him on red can Robert B come back? More Arabian Swordsman here. On the follow-up, he needs to patch that gatehouse. He needed to patch it yesterday. I highly doubt it's going to be enough here. Um, going for the granary. Uh, wants to torture him a little bit. Probably could have ended the game right there. Only one stone thing, though, to repair this gatehouse. Probably not going to be enough here. Isn't able to raid and keep himself in this game, allowing... Finde to build up another pretty sizable army. Now sending those in. That is a lot of rockmen here. Coming over to the front here. Able to clear off all of his archers. Um, truly a sight to see. Does have a trebuchet now too. Love to see that. Um, has gotten in. He's going to be walking for that king. Still has slingers here. Able to distract those archers. He's already on red. And they picking up that quick kill. The mirthful. Hero. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Exactly what we what we kinda thought in that little bit better ego coming in from Fende. Troops are more expensive though, that is for sure. 
Um, does have that positive KD though. Might be because of all the rating that he was doing. Um, definitely a little bit bigger of a population we've seen there. And overall, better wood and stone. Not as good iron though. Let's go ahead and jump over to the bracket. Alright, here we are in the bracket. Round 4, game 1. Finde takes another victory, making him 3-1. and one. Robert Knight taking another loss, making him 1-3. and three. Uh, Yeah, Robert Knight plays Hyena next. That's not going to look too pretty for him. It's like playing Snake, but upgraded. Finde going to be going against Bear, also not a very good... Um, not a very good game for him. Next match, though, we will see Wolf versus Saladin. I should have that uploaded probably by Saturday, I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to record it now, probably edit it later. But, yeah, as always, thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you next time.